Hello, this is Crafty, it's Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And last episode, we made this room. Yeah, and I finally moved uh, all my ore production to the Applied Energy Sticks. But there is a small caveat to the sentence. Not all. Today, we are going to move the rest. So, what we are going to move? First, the bauxite line and indium line. And then, titanium and tungsten lines. Those are the criticals. Bauxite, actually, we didn't, we didn't have any bauxite, bauxite line before, but it's a bonus and Indium line is actually super simple. It's extremely simple. And we can make it easily. And then if we have if we have time for this episode, we might end up do the rare earth line. So that means before we start with plat line, which I designate this area for the plat line, by the way. Also, I added an interface with two storage buses. One is with ore dictionary cards, which all ingots, except hot ingots, gems, except for, from float gems and chipped gems. This one, and also these dusts. I will add whenever I found a new one. So, what we are going to do first is actually we're going to process this guy. No, not this guy. Ah, come here. Yeah. Prat platinum group, uh, group sludge dust. This can be get by two different methods. Sulfuric acid and chalcopyrite or sulfuric acid and uh, Pantla, uh, the blah blah or and both produces some stuff which is going to go to the electrolyzer and then they provide nickel and oxygen yeah nickel and oxygen uh, and this one provides copper anyway then we are going to centrifuge this guy and get Palladium, Iridium, rarest metal, which is, again, Iridium, and Osmium. Yeah, that's an entire line, but we're going to get this one. And this is, the, actually, this, uh, this is actually the simplest one. What we're going to need is one large chemical reactor and one electrolyzer. I could use multi-block one, but it would be an overkill for now, and I will probably going to upgrade later. And I wanted to start with some more magic, because I want to shoot lightning to kill these guys. Okay, this should be enough, and... I moved power like this. Okay, this should be working, and all I, we have to do is avoid the oxygen. Okay, this solution should work. And okay, it starts working. And all we need to do is put those guys here. Voila! This is slow. This is a bit slow, but yeah, it it will do. It will do for now. It will do for now. And for the next part, what we need is sulfuric acid, which is actually quite simple. It's just oxygen, water, and sulfur. And we can just enable it by this, but I have to do something. Do I have any machine control? No, of course not, of course not. Actually, I already had two. So, you and you. You will be sulfuric acid and let's say 
500,000. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be an amazing, nice, sweet spot. And we have a sulfuric acid production. And for this guy, uh, by the way, I accidentally uh, clicked with a uh, can. So that's that. Nitric acid, and you also, you also be 500,000. And you are producing nitric acid now. By the way, there was a power outage there, and my player data corrupt, so... If you see anything strange at the moment, that's that. And let's come here. We have, I changed the design a bit to be more compact, and we add some strange fellows. And this guy needs to connect the main network. And we wired up. Now, did I set, yeah, it's filling up. Now, what we're going to need is, Pair this guy and do I have to put a circuit on you? Yeah, I need to put circuit 8. Actually, I can easily put the circuit 8 here. Circuit 8. Voila! And this guy needs an export bus and aluminium dust. And if I run this, things should be A-OK. -okay. We have a indium dust production now. And uh, all I have to do is, after this is complete, you're going to take 22.55 seconds. Yeah, I need to electrolyze this guy. Yeah, or I can just simply store that for now and then add a multi-block electrolyzer later. Yeah, let's store them for now. Indium is far more important and I have a bunch more zinc set up, zinc and the other stuff set up. And yeah. Now we have a Indian production. Voila! And you can be overflow. And Indium, come here. You will be put here. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Now we, by the way, we also had two more Indiums. They came from a loot box. <laughs> so, Indium line, ready. And this guy appeared. Okay, now we have some new machines on our hands. And this guy is the industrial mixing machine. I have two. And I have two centrifuges in an ugly combination. This time, and an oil cracker unit. And another large chemical reactor. And the keen eyes among you can understand what I'm going to do. This is going to be a... You guessed it right! A box sideline. Yeah, uh, the current plan is, this is where we're going to get the box side slurry. Uh, crash bauxite, quick lime, and sodium hydroxide. And water. And it will become bauxite slurry. Quick lime is here. Uh, I get quick lime by. Where was it? Yeah, I. By centrifugian ashes. For now. I will come up with a better way. Other than that, bauxite. Yay! And the next one will be different uh, for different purpose. 
and then the bauxite slurry will be oil cracked and become heated bauxite slurry. Here, and we have a steam production here. Basic steam production. Fluid heater. Let's continue. Then heated bauxite slurry goes to large chemical reactor with CO2 gas, aluminum hydroxide, etc. And it will come up as sluice juice. And those guys. Bauxite slug uh, goes to centrifuge and yeah, it becomes those guys. Yeah, quick lime also comes from that. And sluice juice. We can either distill it and then electro electromagnetic separation. But those two are can get get from other places. And yeah, those are actually simple product. Those guys are super simple, so centrifuge. Also, the slug does as uh, loose juice comes from few more. It will come from those guys too. Uh, I need a another way of connecting those guys together. Yeah, this input hatch has to connect to where was it? This output hatch and this imp uh, output hatch has to connect to this input hatch. Uh, those can be easy. So, it needs to be a really long conveyor, uh, not conveyor, a uh, conduit line, if I made it with conduits. But luckily, we have applied energy sticks. And we have subnets. Good old subnets. And P2P tunnels. And then, the power. Now, all we need to do is color it, let's color it red. This guy, I colored this, no problem. This is how I accidentally color things. <laughs> now, this is going to be an input hatch, so, and this is going to be output, output, input. Okay. What we first have to do is connect this to this with P2P tunnels. And also what we are going to need is a super tank. Voila. And fluid auto output. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Now, our memory card. Come here. You will become uh, okay fluid and you also going to need to become a fluid too yes and now you will connect to this and this will be a slurry okay this is the input side and this is the output side voila now the second part is here, you will connect to this, and this will be juice. Okay, and they are connected. Now, all I have to do is repair one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and also connect to the main network. Actually, not the main network the ORP pro production network and this guy needs to be not on the input separation mode so we need the circuit circuits 8 and if we do this no other recipe found ah you need sodium so sodium hydroxide which will come from the main network and now it should be okay. No will just be found. Why? Ah, okay, it started. And it's here! And you're waiting for sodium hydroxide, right? Yep. And if we do this, this guy starts working. The bauxite slurry. 
goes there. He did Buckside Slurry. Now, you need to be... You need also both Aluminium Hydroxide and CO2 gas. And for the CO2, we get, we're going to get something from the main network. And we have a CO2 ga gas super tank here. And you will bind to this and... CO2. And you will be fluid auto output. Voila! That part is also ready. And if we come here and start this guy, we will get a bunch of stuff. But first, I need to hold those things on my hand. Apparently, I forget that part. And... Ah, this part. Ah, this part is simple. Yeah, uh, we... <laughs> We got this process done. And also, uh, now all I have to do is add Ruby, uh, Sapphire, and Green Sapphire here. And some so hydro hydrochloric acid here. Hey, this setup is also complete, but I don't have any Ruby, Sapphire, or Green Sapphire on me. I will test it later. But it, by the way, this guy also set, uh, set up like uh, void uh, excess fluids void because the only fluid it produces is water. So yeah, the entire setup is done. And check now, titanium and tungsten line. Ah, this will be super fast for you, but it will take a while for me. And while labeling, I realized something. I can do the entire dejuicing here, in single centrifuge. So yeah, that also one more centrifuge left for me to do whatever I want. And I found the best solution for this guy. Do you remember these? Those guys? Uh, if we, for example, uh, electrolyze them, we get something. We get something. And yeah, those are fine. Those are fine. But if we centrifuge them with nitric acid, we get a lot more thing. And what? Why did my voice became a monster for a second? And Tantalum is also a good bonus. Yeah, that's actually a much, much, much better way of processing this. Uh, so most of, uh, all of them are chance based, but the amounts are huge. And also there are, there is a huge amount of unprocessed ones too. So if I start this, yeah. This, and this goes, and also it's going to be, uh, it's going to do the deju dejuicer, yeah, and yeah, that's it, that's it. If you remember correctly, I said this room will be the plat line. I lied. This is the titanium line. Yeah, I quickly made it. Actually, not quickly. It took me a it took me a night, but it is done. Uh, it's something I already did. Basically, this guy is in chemical plant. Uh, uh, yeah, chemical bath mode with sulfuric acid. And yeah, I just tested something. As you can see, if we put ilmenite with sulfuric acid, we get rutile, ilmenite slug dust, which can be centrifuged into a lot of things, and I'm mostly into the tantalum part. And rutile. And green vitriol, blah blah, is then electrolyzed into oxygen and sulfuric acid. 
So we get our sulfuric acids back, and it is a one-to-one. -one. Yeah. And we get a single iron dust as a bonus, and oxygen. But we have too much oxygen, so I'm just voiding it. Voiding it. By the way, this entire process requires, I think, four, a three electrolyzer steps, and they all done by this single guy. So it, it does the hard uh, carry here. Now all we have to do is connect to the main network. Now, not main network, the ore processing network. And do we get through tile? Yes. And let's start. We might need some. Also, you activate it, and you also you get activated. Okay. By the way, all the outputs are uh, programmed, so nothing will be lost. Hopefully. Carbon monoxide, thank you. And yeah, the entire process should be okay. And we are getting our first hot titanium ingot. And Two of those guys might be an overkill. I might uh, remove one later. But yeah, the process works. And do we get... Yeah, sodium. And carbon is in... This is just a buffer. This is just a buffer. And why do you guys are here? And all we have to do is... By the way, we programmed Illuminite here. Just put the Illuminite ores here. Now, next is Tungsten. Also, one more thing. I'm cooking some Lepatronic blah blahs to upgrade my energy storage. Yeah, that too. And the tungsten line is also done. There are a few issues. First, uh, the carbon is not one-to-one. -one. So yeah, that's a huge issue. Actually, let me just think of something. I will probably feed uh, carbon to the system somehow. For now, let's manually feed some carbon, and then the rest of the stuff that are in this episode. In this episode, we're gonna do one more thing. One simple thing. And we have two single block machines on our hands. By the way, I used autoclave as single block because... There's no multi-block autoclave. Let's look at it. The only multi-block we can use here is large processing air uh, factory. And it is super convoluted to use. And it's also going to be deprecated. In, in one a two seven, we're gonna get multi-block of everything. So it's unnecessary. So I'm just going to wait for that and I will probably add multi-block autoclay right here. Now, what we're going to need is how many channels do I have? Not much. Actually, zero channels. So I will put you here. And I put main network a fluid export bus here okay those are programmed with rare art and rare art one and all we need is connect this and we should start get some rare art yep and is it started yeah it started and the outputs should go there. Yep. 
and we got rare art. Crushed rare art, and it's just standard pro process. It should be here now, yeah. And the standard standard rare art process is just that. And we are finally going to get Yttrium. This is what I was uh, after. This was my bottleneck, because without this, I can't craft a lot of things. First, I can craft those guys and th that guy. That guy allows me to make a lot of things. Yeah. This guy. Uh, industrial cocoa one. And also, there is one more thing. Yeah, this guy. And for this, I need to get yttrium dust. Yeah, that entire process is something. And we are finally getting our rare earth process thing done. And yttrium. Yep, we finally get yttrium. And you should be give us more yttrium. Yeah, yeah. It's right, and do you have any... No, you don't have any empty slot. I need to add more stocking input buses to you. But that would be something I will do between the episodes. Because I am tired and this episode has to end. Yeah, it was a long pro project, but we finally have every process we need at our fingertips. Some of our slow, some of our a bit bottlenecked, but it is going. Next episode, actually for next episode, I have to uh, uh, I have to ask your well input. Should I directly power through the flat line, which is uh, we are gonna need? I actually need iridium a lot now. Or should we just take a small break, do some magic or bees? Yeah. But uh, if we power through the plot line, we are actually going to get... get to move to the magic too, after that, so... I might just power through it. I don't know. By the way, this is the... Current state of old processing room. <laughs> it is barren, and I'm probably going to demolish this building and build B base instead of it. So, as usual, this is the end of the episode. Please do not forget to like and comment to this episode because it helps me a lot. And yeah, this is Crafty Crafty, and have an amazing day.